Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Great to have you here today. Can't wait to get into episode 2704. If you want to follow along with the questions from the community today that we are about to answer, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 2704. And if you haven't already, don't forget to pick up your free copy of The Rain Barrel Effect. Uh, After the book has now been out for a number of years, I want to make sure I get this book into as many people's hands as possible so that they can not just have the book, but actually use it. They can read it. They can follow along with it. They they can take actions on how to improve their overall health, wellness, and life. So do feel free to pass that along to anybody you think that it could help. All right, let's dive into today's questions that are always wellness, weight loss, anti-aging, weight gain, health coaching, you name it, we tackle it here on the Cabral Concept, specifically these Cabral House Calls. If you're new to the show, uh, we've been doing this now for a number of years. Every weekend, we try to get to about 12 questions from the community, people all over the world, not providing medical advice, medical treatments, medical cures, or medical diagnosis, but rather, I believe, something even better, which is finding the underlying root cause to what ails people so that they can go rebalance the body and then enjoy robust health and wellness and vitality. All right, so now let's dive into our questions for today. The first question I see here is from Kate. Kate says, what to do for very large nine centimeter and eight centimeter fibroids? Okay, so we've talked a lot about fibroids here today on the show, or I should say over the last few years in the Cabral concept. So what I'd love you to do is go to stephencabral.com slash podcasts. There's a search box there. And if you're new to the show, or even if you've been tuning in for years, you may not have listened to all 2,703 podcasts before today's. So you can use the search bar and you can actually just type in fibroids uh, if that's your keyword. And then you can listen to all the shows on fibroids and then you'll know a lot of the answers. Um, And again, I don't mind answering it at all. Like, honestly, I don't. This is, I've been doing this uh, (laughs) since I was around 18 years old. I got started in the health and fitness field. But um, the truth is, I just don't want you to have to wait 12 weeks. I mean, that's the real truth. And so, because what we do is we always look for the underlying root cause. So a lot of times people say, hey, what's the supplement I could take in order to help with fibroids? And although I can make some recommendations, yes, why don't we look at what may stop additional fibroids from happening in the future? How do we help fibroids now? And look for the underlying root causes. So for fibroids in females, I'm looking at how do we look at overall blood sugar, hormones, thyroid, stress hormones as well. So we're running the stress mood and metabolism test, and then we're looking at overall inflammation in the body. So ideally we're running the big five, and the stress mood and metabolism test is part of that. If you can only run one, we're doing the stress mood and metabolism. Then we're doing a 21-day functional medicine detox after you run all your labs. And then after that, we're using proteolytic enzymes uh, plus the daily foundational protocol at the very least, along with probably some immunity support um, in order to help overall with fibroids. But, you know, we want to look at balancing the homeostasis of the body first and not just using a nutritional supplement or even a few in order to look at, you know, the potential um, manifestation of what the imbalances were. All right. Sydney is up next. Hi, Dr. Brawl. I have a thick, deformed toenail, and the skin around it often gets inflamed, and it hurts. I read that the only thing that helps is removing the nail altogether, but I would rather keep it. Is there a way to make it healthy again or to stop it hurting as much? Thanks so much for your answer. Best, Sydney. All right. So I actually have shows on toenail fungus, uh, deformed toenails, those types of things, and oftentimes relating to yeast and fungal-based issues. Because you can, I mean, you can get a fungal-based issue on your foot, like not without too much difficulty. It's, you know, it happens, unfortunately, walking around barefoot, you get a fungal-based um, infection or overgrowth. So we do a few things. Um, again, no medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis. Uh, we can use a little bit of coconut oil. That's pretty benign. May help, may not help. What do we do besides that? We can add some tea tree oil or some uh, nutribiotic 
grapeseed extract drops or um, citricidal drops. Those are kind of like one and the same. Citricidal is just stronger. Uh, also, foot soaks. So first, apple cider, vi- apple cider vinegar, great as a natural pH toner for the skin. But you can actually do a foot soak with apple cider vinegar and water. Um, and you can even try, so I always try different things as well. You can try that. And then you can try adding baking soda as well. That can sometimes be very, very helpful for people. Um, I already mentioned the tea tree oil. That can be really helpful, helpful topically as well. Uh, some people do go ahead and remove the toenail with the help of their podiatrist. I don't think people should be taking off their own toenails. Uh, I think that can lead to infection. It could be some real issues, so see your podiatrist. And um, then, if you have a real like functional medicine-based podiatrist, they can actually use ozone, which can be really helpful. Now, you can use ozone with the nail on, but ozone, uh, and then in combination with Colloidal silver or the tea tree drops can be really effective. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to jog my memory as to one other. And then ozonated olive oil can be helpful as well. So those are a lot of my big tips right there. Uh, this is not a matter of happening in one day. You're probably going to have to do this over uh, multiple weeks, continuing on with this, okay? So hopefully that's a good place to start. Kristen's the next question for the day. I've been suffering from hives for a year. They started with what I thought was a spider bite on my scalp. A few weeks later, I started getting itchy, red hives all over my body. I've seen my general practitioner, dermatologist, and allergist. I did a ton of blood work, and they couldn't find any underlying issues or allergies. Pregnizone cleared it up, but it came right back when I stopped. Zyrtec, at, at first for a day, now just one, cleared up the body hives but heat and tight clothing bring them back. The itchy bumps on my scalp have never gone away. I've tried apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, coconut oil, changed bedding, shampoos. I don't know what else to do, but do you have any advice? Okay, well, I'm happy to provide some next steps. So what I would look at this is that you're, let's just, let's look at what works, right? Pregnizone. Why does pregnozone work? It's a massive anti-inflammatory. Okay, so it removes the inflammation from the area, and now the symptoms go away. You stop it, inflammation comes back. Got it, so there's an inflammatory component. That's what that means. Now, Zyrtec, what is Zyrtec? It's essentially a histamine reducer, right? Or at least it reduces overall TH2 allergy-based response. We can put it like that. Okay, so there is a potential histamine issue. And heat, and not the tight clothing, but heat exacerbates it. Probably another, again, nod towards a histamine issue. Now, was the histamine issue from the bite you got on your scalp, or is whatever that is on your scalp not a bite, but actually some type of hive or other issue, right, related to sensitivities? Now, there doesn't have to be like a specific pinpoint date. There could be gut issues that you're having right now. Yeast overgrowth, fungal overgrowth, uh, bacterial overgrowth, parasites. So what I'd recommend is if you can, run the gut bundle at the very least. The gut bundle is food sensitivity testing, uh, fungal, candida, metabolic testing, as well as the parasites, bacteria bacteria and parasites testing. Those are at, you can just head on over to stephencabal.com slash shop. You can look at the big three. It's called the gut bundle, but the big three. Instead of the big five, the big three is just for the gut. And I think that would be a great first place to start. You'll also get a plan with that. Now, again, any recommendations I make, you do not need to work with the Equal Life team. You could work with an integrative health practitioner, level two, or a local naturopathic doctor, but at least you know what I recommend as a place to get started. Now, symptomatically, you could look towards alkalizing vitamin C, a half a scoop twice a day, or potentially even one scoop twice a day, but I wouldn't do one scoop twice a day ongoing. I would do one scoop total a day. Um, I would look at uh, Hist Pro as well. Two to three capsules, one, two, or three times a day. All right? Just as a natural um, histamine balancer. Eric is up next. Eric says, Hi, Dr. Brawl. I'm a 64-year-old male that has struggled for many years with urinary tract problems. Urinary tract stricture as a child that was surgically treated, recurring bouts of urinary tract 
irritation from various substances and stress, but never any indication of a UTI. Over the past several months, I've been doing infrared sauna sessions two times a week, which seem to make my urinary tract problems worse. I use a binder before each session. Two questions, can a sauna trigger a larger jump in toxins being processed through the kidneys urinary tract, including oxalate dumping? I'm high in oxalates on the oat test. How do you suggest one treat Irritation symptoms, raw feeling in the urethra or bladder area, thanks. All right, this is interesting. So again, we, we have to be careful with the word treat, right? Only medical, conventional medicine can use the word treat. I like to say, look for underlying root causes, get the body healthy. Here's the issue. And again, I don't want to put the nocebo effect in your head, Eric, and I'm not doing that. Because again, if you have days where you feel good, what does that mean? That every day can feel good, honestly. That's what I say to people. If there are days where you feel good and symptom-free, then every day can be symptom-free. We need to kind of figure out what's filling up that rain barrel. So I say to you, if you have days where you're symptom-free, every day can be symptom-free. However, if every day there's a symptom from when you've had surgery, surgery is an amazing thing that we have access to. I will never deny that, and I'm glad that we have it. Unfortunately, one day, um, I'm gonna look at all, every different modality, but it just came back after two years. I have a torn labrum in my shoulder. I've had it now for two and a half years. Um, I was able to fix it through um, doing some active release therapy as well as strengthening exercises, and it's been good. And unfortunately, I aggravated it the other day. It, it happens, right? So I'm gonna go back through the process, trying to strengthen it, but the labrum's torn. So eventually, I might look into specifically stem, stem cells uh, with PRP, I might just do PRP by itself, but I know that's probably not gonna be the end all be all. But anyways, I might have to have surgery on it one day. And I'm not looking forward to it. Ideally, I don't want it. But if the pain is like it is now, if you've ever had a torn rotator cuff, and this is just one tear of the rotator cuff, it's not a, it's not a pleasant experience. So we'll put it that way. So I get it, I understand, and I say that. But the issue is, once you have surgery, you can't take it back. And sometimes there can be irritation, there can be all sorts of different things. Um, I had my adenoids removed, I had my tonsils removed. They didn't do a great job, we'll put it that way. So it is what it is though, right? And you, you just work around that. Now, having said that, if we're having good days, then great. We need to look at what is triggering it. We know sauna is triggering it. Now, sa sauna also increases stress maybe temporarily inf inflammation and histamines in the body. Crazy, right? But it's called a hermetic stressor. The good news is though, sauna helps with detox, helps with heat shock proteins, and in the long run, makes us healthier and stronger. But right now, it looks like it's becoming a little bit of a trigger. I'm wondering if the time you're doing is just a bit too much for your body, or there are a larger amount of toxins in the body. Maybe we wanna look at other things as well, such as dry brushing, rebounding, um, going for some light cardio, increasing your walking as other ways to also help with lymphatic drainage. If you've never done a equal life detox, we might look into an equal life detox. Uh, let's see. You can use the urine dipstick tests that I've talked before about. You can get them right on Amazon or really anywhere to look for high leukocytes in the urine, which could show some type of infection. Again, non, not diagnostic. You'd want to talk with your doctor. Um, but yeah, everything that can be a sensitivity that's then being excreted through urine could be bothering the urethra, I think, or the whole urinary tract, okay? So at least, I, Eric, I think that that's a good place to get started for sure. And if you haven't run the starter kit yet, I would run the starter kit. And I think it's just stephencabral.com slash starter dash kit. But again, you can find everything at stephencabral.com uh, forward slash shop. All right, let's do another question. I want to get to one more question today. This one's from Jesse. It says, I've searched the podcast and can't find that you've ever spoken about SAT procedure specifically for, uh, specifically used for alpha-gal gale reactions. I've read several testimonials that it has greatly benefited people dealing with this frustrating affliction. Thank you for all your free resources, and I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion on this topic. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you are talking about, I have never used that, nor do I know anybody who else has. The meat, red meat allergy that I believe you're speaking about, I actually, I didn't tie this, it's not my research, I report on the research. It's interesting because a lot of people may have had a viral infection or 
bacterial infection, uh, an issue like Lyme disease, where this was then, uh, it came about. And so I find that to be very interesting. Now, the, the treatment that you're talking about, I believe you were just talking about acupuncture for the air. And if that's the case, I, have no, I would have no issues with you trying that. I think that there can be some amazing benefits of acupuncture. However, I would actually run the bacteria and parasite stool test and begin to work on the immune system uh, for sure. Like that's what I would do. I would look into my natural Lyme protocol. Um, if you ever can't find any of these podcasts after searching, please do write into cabralsupportgroup.com. Uh, Michelle's amazing. Uh, Daniel's in there. He's amazing. We've got Cassie. We've got a lot of great people working in there. So I just want to know, like, we can we can point you in the right direction because I would work on, you know, balancing that immune system. Again, emptying the rain barrel. If you haven't read The Rain Barrel Effect, please do check out that book. Look at the bacteria and parasite stool test. Let's do the work. But in the meantime, I have I would have no issue with you doing the um, ear-based acupuncture. So hopefully that's helpful. Certainly not an expert in that area of that uh, procedure, but at the same time, um, why not? Like I, I look at it as if that's all we're talking about, I look at it as very little downside. So hopefully that's helpful. Thank you everybody for writing into today's show. I thank you. I appreciate you. I'll be back tomorrow on our Mindset and Motivation Monday. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my health results accelerators. Simply choose the health imbalance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.